right, we're back, and uh, I'm going to go over very quickly the what uh, really, really basic uh, description of what options are. Now, uh, there's two kinds of options are basically a derivative of the underlying or the stock. Uh, they uh, a one lot of options represents 100 shares of the underlying or stock, whatever you want to call it. Um, we use the term underlying because sometimes there's not a stock attached to it per se. But so what we have here is we're going to look at the options chain for SLV, which is the uh, it's a silver trust index. Um, but basically, it trades right around with what silver is doing. Um, and it's a way you can trade the silver market without having to actually trade the futures themselves. But anyway, that aside, um, they are derivatives of the underlying. Okay, so the, each one of these, uh, one option will re represent 100 contracts. And what that means is it's a contract to either buy or sell. Okay, so there's two two kinds of options. There's calls and there's puts. And the uh, calls are contracts to buy. Okay, and those are on this side. You can see over here, if you go to your trade screen, all products, on your thinkorswim tab, swim, see over here where it says calls. Okay, and these are the uh, options for December 14th. What that means is that the calls like I said, are contracts to buy, okay, and they're on this side, and the puts on this side are contracts to sell. So there are three things you can three things you can do with options. You can buy them, sell them, or exercise them. Okay. And if you'll notice over here on this right up here where it says strike, okay, these are the strike prices. So those contracts are to buy or sell at those strike prices. So you, when you buy a contract, when you buy, say, a call, that gives you the right to buy that underlying at the strike price that the contract is for any time that you want, up to and including the day of expiration. And this case is Saturday uh, with 13 days to go. You'll see in here in this little bracket it says 13. So it's the monthly expiration. The monthly expirations on the TOS platform are given in white, and the weekly expirations are given in red. Given 90% of the time, we're just going to be concerned with what's the month, uh, what's in the white, the monthly expirations. So we have, uh, you know, if you take a contract, if you buy option, uh, say uh, you buy a call at the 16 strike, that gives you a right to buy that underlying any time up to and including expiration for $16 per share. So that would be 100 shares. So it would be $1,600. But right now the bid and ask of these is, is shown up here. That's the buy or sell. And that's what they're being you know offered at. Um, people that are, if you want to buy them, they're being offered at this price. And if uh, they're being sold, they're being offered at this price. So if you want to buy, you'll be buying at the price someone wants to sell at or somewhere in the middle. But you can see right now that if you know that the stock is trading at fifteen dollars and sixty one cents and you have a sixteen dollar contract, you're not going to want to exercise that anytime soon. And we can go into all that at some point. But the important thing to, to take away here is just understand that there's calls and there's puts, and you can buy them or sell them. Calls are a uh, contract to buy, puts are a contract to sell. Okay, so when you buy them, you have a right to buy. If you have a call, you have a right to buy that underlying at whatever your strike price is. So each one of these has a strike price and an expiration. So if you owned, if you bought a put at the you know $15 strike, that would give you the right to sell that underlying at $15 anytime up to and including the day of expiration. A quick note about expirations is that you know when it says 13 days to expiration it's referring to the Friday they actually expire on the, the Saturday directly after that uh, but since you can't trade the options on Saturday 
Um, the expiration as far as buying and selling options is concerned is, is Friday, but you can exercise them on the Saturday and they can be exercised on, on the Saturday. So another thing to understand here is when you buy an option that gives you a right to exercise at that strike price. Okay, So the inverse is true for selling. If you sell, that gives you an obligation to either buy or sell, depending on if it's a put or call. Okay, okay. If you buy a call, that gives you a right to buy that stock at that strike price. And if you sell a call, that gives you an obligation and puts are the inverse. And so if you buy a put, that gives you a right to sell that, that underlying at that strike price. And if you sell a put, that gives you the obligation to take that stock at that, at that price at that, you know, or be put the stock. And uh, on calls, they, they say they can be called away. Okay, if, it, if you are short, if you have a short position, meaning you sold a call, uh, that stock can get called away at any time up to and including expiration. And why it doesn't generally happen until expiration, we'll go into that in another video, but just understand for now that the difference between a right and an obligation. When you buy an option, you have a right, when you sell an obligation, or when you sell a, a, an option, you have an obligation. That's the important thing there. Now there's two things that give a uh, option value. There's intrinsic value and extrinsic value. The intrinsic value is the value that the option has as far as how far it is in the money. We say in the money when, okay, so for instance, the easy way to understand that is if it's a call and the option is for the $15 strike, this option is in the money because it's trading above the $15 strike. So this, in your toss, toss platform, it's this grayed out area is the in the money. So every option in there that's cheaper than, uh, every strike that's cheaper than the price it's trading for is in the money. And so the opposite is true for puts. Um, since puts are con uh, contracts to sell, every option that is uh, higher than the strike price will be uh, in the gray. So those are in the money. So intrinsic value will be how much it is in the money. So right now, the $15 strike has, uh, you know, if it's trading for $15.61, has $0.61 cents of intrinsic value. Make sense? All right. Again, so if it's at $15.61, the $15 strike is... Uh, for the calls is 61 cents in the money. Now, the other thing that gives it value is what's called extrinsic value. And extrinsic value refers to, uh, it's a value given to how much time and or volatility is left in that option. Okay, So anything out of the money has only extrinsic value. It has no intrinsic value at all. Options that are in the money have both. Have extrinsic and intrinsic value. If you look at the $15 strike, it's 61 cents in the money. So an option that's in the money has both intrinsic and ex extrinsic value. Um, again, a lot of interruptions here, so bear with me if this seems a little choppy. The So 61 cents in the money has 61 cents of intrinsic value, and what's left over? Uh, if you're trying to buy it or sell it, is the extrinsic value. And if you know if you can't do the math, you can't see that 61 cents from you know 77 or 80 cents is going to be you know around 18, 19 cents or, or whatever. You can just look over the corresponding put and see because these are pure extrinsic value, and they will have they will show you within a penny or so, depending on how wide the markets are. Uh, how much extrinsic value is left in that strike. Okay, so the 15 strike has 17 cents here of extrinsic value. And so you can, you know, if you can't do the math in your head real quick, you can just look over here at the puts and that gives you a good idea of how much extrinsic value they're giving this.
And so that just the extrinsic value is simply uh, the value given to how much time that there is to expiration and volatility. You know, to kind of summarize, the important things are, you know, when an option is in the money, it has both intrinsic and ex extrinsic value. And when it is out of the money, it only has extrinsic value. Okay, so, you know, options can always have some amount of extrinsic value right up to the expiration, but they may have uh, very little or none if they're, you know, real far out of the money. You can see these, they get further out. Uh, you know, they're just not being, you know, some of these just aren't even being bid or offered or anything. Let's just go real quick down what, what we've gone over. You've got puts and calls on your TOS platform. Calls are on the left, and puts are on the right. If you go to the, this is an options ladder, an options chain, sorry. And uh, puts and calls are derivatives of this of the underlying. So it's a way you can play, you know, a uh, higher dollar stock without a lot of money. You know, so you go to Apple real quick and you can see that, um, you know, these prices given here, $1.93, the bid, and uh, $1.96, the ask on the first out of the money call. Uh, you know, if you were to buy that, that price would be, you're doing 100 of these, so that'd be times 100, so it'd be $193. So for $193, you can make a position, take a take a position in, in Apple. You know, so, so instead of owning one share of Apple, you're basically taking a position that is controlling 100 shares of an Apple for you know 193 dollars or 195. 90. So the strike we've seen, or the, this column right here gives you all these prices. Um, those are the strike. You have your expiration given over here. Um, the, the December 14 expiration. You can go to your charts and see the expirations. Also, these red dotted lines are the expirations. So you, you know you have 13 days left to to make some kind of play in there for that expiration date. You can buy um, the TOS platform, you can collapse these windows and go out to other months, go out to see 41 days to expiration and see, you know, scroll down and see those. You can change how many of these you're going to see with your strike selection up here. I've got 60, you know, if you just want to see 14 at a time, you can do that. And just put, you know, so you don't fill your screen up with a bunch of stuff you don't need to see. If that's all you're looking for. You know, keep in mind that Buying an option gives you a right. Selling an option gives you an obligation. Calls are contracts to buy. Puts are contracts to sell. There's only three things you can do with an option is buy, sell, or exercise it. So I have the in-the-money options, out-of-the-money options, and in-the-money options have intrinsic value and extrin extrinsic value, and then out-of-the-money options only have extrinsic value. All makes sense. Okay, if you have any questions, post them and uh, we'll go into it. Thanks.